All right, what's up guys? Today we're gonna to talk about a periodic trend called atomic radius. This is how large each atom is. The long and the short of it is that the smallest atom on the periodic table is helium. It is in the top right corner. And as you go left or down, you get larger, which makes francium, the one in the bottom left corner, the largest atom. In general, if you're asked to rank atoms based on how large they are, you only need to remember two things. The lower an atom is on the periodic table, the more electron shells that atom will have. If you remember, helium, uh, hydrogen, has one electron in its outer shell, so it really only has one occupied energy level. The atom below it, lithium, has two electrons in its first shell, it is full, and one electron in its second shell. Because it has two shells compared to one shell, it is a larger atom. Pretty straightforward. But it's actually the case that as you move farther to the right, you're still adding electrons, but the atoms are getting smaller. The reason is that you'll have the same number of shells for atoms in the same period or row, but you'll have more protons in the center which are able to hold the electrons in that shell slightly closer to the nucleus and you end up with a smaller atom. Lithium, which is right here on the periodic table and has one electron in its second shell, and neon, which has 10 electrons total, two in its, out, in its first shell, and a full eight in its outer shell, still together have just two shells. All right, I guess I should say two shells are present in each atom. But lithium has three protons in its center, and neon has 10 protons in its center, so the electrons in the second shell can be held closer, making the atom smaller. I've even updated this chart, or changed the chart that I found in a textbook I really like, by Petrucci, it's the 10th edition. And you can hear the balls represent the size of each atom. Lithium, beryllium, boron carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, the entire second row, you can see that the atomic radii are decreasing. If you, surely you can see that from there, but lithium is 152 picometers per atom, beryllium is 111 picometers per atom, 88, 77, 75, 73, 71, decreasing as you go to the right, and obviously increasing as you go from top to bottom because you're adding shells, okay? Now, that is not true or the same for ions because ions involve you adding and subtracting electrons, so you change the number of shells that each atom has. I'm going to do a separate video about ionic radius, but long story short, the non-metals which gain electrons get bigger, the metals which lose electrons get smaller than their corresponding neutral atoms. Cool? All right, best of luck.